of evolution. The first one is genetic drift. Genetic drift occurs in a small population most of the time. In small populations, individuals that carry a particular allele may leave more descendants than other individuals leave just by chance. There is no selective process in this. Over time, a series of chance occurrences can cause an allele to become more or less common in a population. Here we have marbles representing alleles, and you can see just by chance that the orange marble is gone. Causes of genetic drift. There are two. Bottlenecking is the result of death, and founder effect is the result of moving away. So for example, cheetahs. There once were many different varieties of cheetahs with many different colors of coat. However, now we only have a few cheetahs, and that is because of bottlenecking. People hunted the cheetah for its fur pelt, and they also captured them um, as a prestigious pet. And so there are very few left, and this has resulted in a bottleneck. And so, for example, there used to be king cheetahs, many of them, and the normal cheetah that we see today. Most of the king cheetahs were either killed or captured. And this was random. They were not preferred. It was just random. And so randomly, the king cheetah is just gone. And all that is left is this cheetah. When a particular allele for a trait is gone forever, like here, that is called allele fixation. And it leads to inbred species. The reason that it's bad to bottleneck is because you get inbreeding. With very little choice of who is your mate, you end up reproducing with those who are more related to you. Because of this, you will get individuals that are not very genetically diverse. And so here we see two examples. This is scenario one, in which the female has a choice of mates. And so she has a genetically diverse group of cubs. If there is a pathogen that kills a particular type of cheetah, maybe one will die, but the other two will live. However, in the second scenario, the female only has one option, and that is a close relative of hers, maybe a brother or a cousin. This results in all of the offspring being almost identical. And so if one gets sick, they all get sick. We are having problems with this right now on the eastern shore uh, with oysters because they're all very similar. They're all getting sick. So the bottleneck is from death. Founder effect is when we lose genetic diversity by moving. And so, for example, if you have this population of moths and randomly some of them move to an isolated island, they might leave behind the white version. And so they have lost the white variant. So the founder effect is when allele frequencies change as a result of migration of a small subgroup of a population. Next we have the opposite of gene drift, and that is gene flow. Gene flow is the opposite of the founder effect, where we have members of one population join members of another. And so here we have this blue bird is flying over here. And through sexual reproduction and the mixing of alleles, we will have genes flowing between the two populations. This tends to prevent w uh, one species from becoming two. The more gene flow, the less you are to have speciation. We have a lot of gene flow in humans because of all of the different ways that we can travel and get around. There is flying, and you can drive your car, you can take a train, you can take a boat, and one day you can even take a spaceship. <laughs> and so we have a lot of gene flow. And so does this increase or decrease genetic drift? This would decrease genetic drift. 